hello lovelies welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you are new here make sure you hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you are old here thanks so much for coming again so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a business card in Photoshop so the first thing we do is we will set a new project that I have my project ready so I'll give you the size is 3.5 by 2 inches and then you can click OK make sure that you have this in inches right so you click OK and then you will have something like this so I'll be making some references to this particular business card here so that's why I've opened it alright so let's get started now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of these two colors that's why I have it over here don't worry about that alright so the first thing that I'll do is I'll pick my rectangle tool and then I'll draw a rectangle over here let me make it big so I'll draw a rectangle and I can press ctrl T to transform this and then I'll rotate it a little bit like this one so you can scale it and then you can adjust it to how you want it so somewhere around this place let me bring it back so somewhere around this place will be okay for me right so I want to change this color to anything since I wouldn't be making reference to that so I'll press ctrl J and then I'll duplicate that color or that rectangle let me say so you change the color and this is that this time I'm going to use this particular color over here and then I'll drag it down somewhere around this place so I think this one is okay for me and then I maintain it here now I'll go ahead and make a duplicate of this rectangle again select the last rectangle and then I'm going to change it and the color will be this one so I want it under this particular rectangle that's why I have it here so I can just push it out like this and then I'll press ctrl T to rotate it so this is what I want so I have something like this and then you can position it very nicely so the next thing you do is you select this particular rectangle go to file and go to place so the object that we are going to use is here so I'll select this car and then I'll right click and rasterize it so I right click again and create a clip masking so that I have something here and then I'll press ctrl T to just resize it to this point so you can take your time to make the resizing anyhow you want it right the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to file again and then I'll place a second car over here so just like we did to the first one rasterize and create a clip masking so that one too you can just scale it out like this and then you position it very nicely so we have our first set done so you can just select this rectangle hold shift and select the last rectangle and press ctrl G to group it so if you hide it you see that we have this whole thing hide all right so the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add some name to it so I'll choose the test tool and then I'll change the color to black I want the alignment to be right and the font I'm going to use my favorite font and then I'll increase the size more so I'll type since this is a tutorial I'll type, I can type anything so uh, name of company here all right so you can position it very nicely like this and then ctrl T will help you to transform please keep in mind that ctrl T will help you to transform anything like the text and the image anything will help you to transform it so I have the text here and then I'll add another text to it and I'll say uh, tag or slogan here so I'll just select that text and then I'm going to introduce a new font called Acrobat at Acrobat I want to use the bold one and then I'll select all of these and select this particular thing over here so I'll just open it up small so that I have something nice like this one 
as you can see on your screen so we have something nice over here now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the rectangle again and draw a nice rectangle a very small one as that and then we will change the color first to this one and then we will press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then we can change the color to this one so we have the two rectangles set over here you can choose to bring it down small you take your time and you can do yours very nicely okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is on top of these rectangles i'm going to add another test so i'll choose the test tool and this time around i want it left aligned and then i'll change the font again to acrobat and i'll use first of all the bold one so i'll test anything like your name here here and then you can resize it more like this right and then you position it very nicely so if you have your name here nearly your position will follow so you press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then you bring it down so you press t again and then you can change this to position here and then you can select it and change this one to regular and then the font i think somewhere around this place we do so you click ok to at least differentiate it from the first name or the name so you position it very nicely and you take your time to do the positioning very well all right so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to add an eclipse to this whole thing and then i'll hold shift to draw the eclipse so i'll change the color of the eclipse to my color right over here and then i'll click ok so you can press ctrl t to resize it small or big yes i think big so make it big like this one and then i'll go to my former business card and then i'll select this particular thing so i'll just bring it out and then position it very nicely like this one so i have something here then i can position it very neatly like this okay so you take your time and mind you you can also download these things from google just search for smartphone and you get something like this so i have these two over here i'll just press ctrl and select the eclipse press ctrl j and i'll make a duplicate of it and then i'll bring it down and make a duplicate again and then bring it down so we are just going to change the things in it for example i have this smartphone over here so i'll just delete it i have this smartphone over here i'll delete it so i'll go back and bring um, a servlet over here and then i'll position it and then i can just place it inside this particular eclipse so i have something like this and then i position it very nicely so since this is a tutorial and i don't want to keep it very long and boring that's why i'm moving a little bit faster please forgive me for that so the last one will be the location and then you can position it over here so you take your time and then all that you need is the basics the rest you can do i know you can do it yeah so the last thing that we will do is add a test to it so let's change the font size to about 12 and then we will add a test we are using acrobat regular and the font size is 12 the color is black so let me add a test to it quickly so from there you can just resize it's very small like this and then you can position it here i think this is very nice we have something nice here so after doing this all that you have to do is press ctrl j to duplicate this and then you can add your mailing addresses to it so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the rectangle to draw a small rectangle 
like this and then we will change the color to this color we're going ahead to make a duplicate pressing ctrl j and then we will change the color to this one and then we are going to resize it small so we have a small rectangle like this and then i'll make a duplicate again and place it here so you take your time to position it and then another duplicate and i'll place it here so having these four sets i'll just hold shift and select it all and press ctrl t to resize it and then i can place it very neatly at this place so at this point i think you are done with that business card and this is particularly for transportation people so after this whole, whole thing you can go ahead and make any other changes that you feel like making it don't forget to like subscribe and share i'll see you in the next video bye